watch this video if this has happened to you. You had a great idea for an app or website, but you could not actually develop it into a product because either you did not have time to do it, or you did not have access to the developer skills, or the technology that you needed for your idea wasn't there at that time. In this video, you will see how a 10 year old idea came to life in five minutes with vibe coding on Firebase Studio. In case you did not know what vibe coding is, it is a way to build applications only by using the language that we speak. Be ready to be amazed. Let's get right to the video. Open your browser and type studio.firebase.google.com and then log in with your Gmail account. You'll be shown the screen. And here is a text box where you can input what app you want to create or prototype. So I have copied some text for my app, an app that allows user to upload a photo from local folder and generates social media status messages. User can input some generic information like their mood. Let's wipe code this app. You click on prototype with AI and Firebase Studio comes up with this application blueprint, which is editable. Basically, it assumes the following features, photo upload, context input, and then status generation. This means that there is some AI component in here. So it's going to ask me to input a Gemini API key in a few steps. When I try to prototype this app, it shows these colors. I like those colors, layout, iconography, animation, etc. I'm okay with all of that. I'm not going to change any of that for this purpose. So prototype this app. As expected, it's asking me to enter Gemini API key and I'm going to say auto generate. It already came up with a layout for the app. So here is a way to upload my photo and add context and generate. So your mood, you can enter the mode and then click on generate static. I also like this little AI icon right there. So just so you know, so now that this app has already been created, we will test it out in a moment, but I want to call out that you can edit the code if you want. It will take you to a different screen within Firebase where it shows all the files that are there and it's the usual Firebase Studio UI where you can edit the code if you're that savvy, but we are not going to do that here. Now let's proceed and test this app. I uploaded an image and I'm going to say my mode is happy. And let's see what it came up with. Social media status generated. Firebase Studios fires. So excited about the new features. This is good. Reasonable, right? Good status message for social media. But I want to add more to it. Let's make some, ask for, ask Firebase Studio to make some more changes to the app that it created. Make the mode feed into a list box and add nine different modes suitable for social media. Okay, this is now, this is exactly what I wanted. So this is good. Now I know when we generate status, it was just giving one status. So I wanted to generate three statuses and give me links to post the status messages to x.com, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay. Also highlight your recommended status. Okay. There you go. Gave an error. So let's ask it to fix the error. Also guys, to even if it doesn't fix the error, you can always go back to the previous working version by clicking on restore. But let's see what it comes up with. Yep, it fixed the error. Did it? No, it did not fix the error. Let's ask it to fix it again. I think this time if it doesn't fix, I'm going to restore to my previous version and potentially give a different input. Let's see. Looks like it fixed the error. Perfect. Let's test it again. That's my photo. My mood is playful. Generate statuses. There you go. 
So Firebase Studio is here. No, seriously, it's on fire. Okay, but it recommends this one. Just gonna leave this here. Okay, cool. Here's an option to share on X, Facebook, or Instagram. Let me see. When I click on that, it takes me directly to X. I'm not screen sharing that one, guys, but yeah, this one takes me to Facebook and this is just, just copy for Instagram. Okay, I really don't care about Instagram here. You also can copy. I'm actually pretty satisfied with what it came up with. I just want to rebrand the app. Rebrand the app to Dexter with a subtext. I got your back. Perfect. Okay. Remove this text. I'm literally chatting with the app, guys. So I'm doing a development without the friction of interacting with a real person. This is good. I like this change. What else do I want to make? Let's ask it to be a logo. Create a logo for half and add it to the top. Okay, there you go. Created this logo right here. I don't know what that is, but it's a logo. Okay. Okay. What else can we ask? Add a dark theme and give me a toggle button to switch between dark and light themes. Okay, there is an issue. What do we do when there is an issue? We can say fix the error. There you go, fix the error. Let's just ask it to fix the error. Oh, look at this. Look at the dark theme here, right? So there is large dark theme and light theme. It just did that. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, folks, that's it. Uh, I was able to create this app without typing a single line of code just by using natural language. Please leave your comments on how you think Firebase Studio will change application development experience. See you in the next video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Mm -hmm.